long time. It actually hasn't. It's been like literally a week, but it, it feels like a long time to me. It's been like a week and some time, but that don't matter because today we have a nice little video for you. Hey, you guys, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. If you are coming here for the first time, welcome. My name is Peace. Um, I do YouTube video with fashion, uh, K beauty, skincare videos. Speaking of skin, my skin. Don't mind this pimple. This is a stress pimple because. If y'all follow me on Twitter, you know, BTS, concert, tickets, world tour, all that situation. It's stressing me out. It's stressing me out. And it's stressing me out. So that's why that's here. But check my skin. I've been treating her so bad. And she looks like this. So I'm like, I think we have a skin routine coming up. My dude do my skin routine. Um, my skincare. She's popping even more. But today's video, you guys, is a thrift haul. A spring, more so pre-spring thrift haul i wanted to do way more but like i could just put all all the other thrifting that i did in 2018 into like a collective thrift haul because i did do a lot more thrifting um than my last thrift haul which was a long time ago in the beginning of 2017 2018 or at the end of 2017 it was one of those it was a very long time ago <laughs> i want to get into upcycling things i want to get into diying i'm very lazy so we're gonna see how that works out but i want to get into you know getting more cycles out of a lot of things so I do have a video and also the background looks really crazy because I was cleaning out my winter closet so I will have a video coming up about cleaning out my winter closet and I'm gonna have a sale on my Depop and all that stuff so you guys be sure be sure be sure to check out it check it out in the description box down below but let's get started I went to this thrift store called Second Avenue it is it's the one in Laurel if you guys live in the MD you know so Second Avenue in Laurel um one of the best thrift stores one of the most organized thrift stores Stores I've been to in like my 20 age something I'm not even 21 yet what am I saying in in my like adolescent adult years because I went to this really bomb thrift store way back in the day my mom took me my what it was like three stories tall and I was like where is this can I go here again and they were like selling all different types of fabrics and it was just like a whole it was like a whole more so like a wholesale vendor type situation but like I want to go there again when do they have it every Saturday like I need to know it was like a whole building and I was I was like 12 but yeah you guys I went to second avenue thrift store I spent a pretty penny but it wasn't that pretty I spent $59.26 on 10 items which is pretty good um thrift stores in the DMV Unless you go to an outlet, which they don't have here at all, or unless you're going on a sale, things are gonna be pretty pretty average price. Like say if you go to the sale section at Forever 21, like that's the prices. So things are like $5.99, $4.99, $7.99 was really hefty, really expensive, but it was for a special piece that I really, really needed to have. One was $1.99, but like it's, it's it was this shirt, it was $1.99 if you guys haven't already or if this is your first time here be sure to hit that like button go ahead and like the video if you like your girl already like if this is not your first time coming back and you have not subscribed girl girl you know what you need so period period you need to subscribe and click that bell to get notified every time i post because i am posting weekly i'm trying to up that you know put more content out make sure you guys are subscribed and have your notification bell on so you know when i post so i can like know if i should post frequently or less frequently you know what i mean i know what i mean <laughs> some, some of these pieces they're like all over here some of these pieces you guys have already seen um i recently did a valentine's day lookbook which i'm very 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 proud of it's one of the first lookbooks that i actually like I got closer to the vision that I had in my head. I think I did a pretty good job and I got a really good feedback from a lot of you guys on Instagram. So that made me really, really happy. The first piece is this sweat. The first piece is this sweater, this red sweater. Now I have said on my channel multiple times in real life and just, just while breathing, I've said I do not do I do not do red. I don't wear red. I don't know her. She doesn't look good on me. I don't like red lipstick. I don't like red clothes. I don't like red dresses. It's just not, I just, mm. Some people can really rock red. It just has, it has nothing, literally nothing to do with skin tone. Please don't think that way. That's really ignorant. I just feel like red is such an out there color. I could definitely do your burgundies, your maroons. Um, But once you get into this papam bow red, I'm like, or I was like, I don't know like I just 
I just feel like it it doesn't match my aesthetic or my style so I just I just never been able to do red and I've had red things before and I just felt like I it really washed me out and funny thing is if you want to talk about skin tone there's so many people that look so good in red that are my exact skin tone but it's just like I don't know I just don't like red like red looks so good on people and I'm like mm, I wish I could wear red like that but I'm like mm. I don't like it. <laughs> Since it was Valentine's Day, I was like, I wanted to have a very aesthetic-y, gimmicky outfit for one of the looks in my Valentine's Day lookbook. So I chose a pink turtleneck and a red sweater from the thrift store. It has this SN, I don't know which university, which organization, whatever this is. I don't know which one it is, but it's one of the ones that you can't identify easily. Cause if it said like Stanford, I wouldn't mind if it said Stanford, but if it said like a full name and like, Say if I look up online and that university has like a bad reputation, like I want to wear it. Like this one's not easy identifiable unless you like really know the school. So I was just like, okay, like this could mean the Saints for all we know. You know, this is like the scariest red for me because it's a very, very, very bright red. But I feel like if I pair it with the right uh, colors, the right textures, I feel like I'll. I'll do something out of it, and if not, you guys will see it on my deep <laughs> Right, so the next item that I have, this one, I decided to get a skirt. I wanted to get mom jeans, but I wasn't that lucky. I did get this denim skirt, this high-waisted denim skirt. Um, This is literally the perfect, perfect, perfect length and size for me because I do like high-waisted things. Um, It shows off my curves. I do like high-waisted things, but I also don't like super short skirts. So this is a very, very casual skirt. It has the buttons all around the side, all along the, the middle. Um, And it has these two pockets and the buttons are super cool. This is the brand St. John's Bay Authentic Jeans, 1984. So I like that. item on the list is a one of my favorite this shirt I just uh, oh my gosh I I don't know what to say it has these it's a it's a beige shirt and it has these three plaid panels on it I don't usually wear plaid I have been adding more plaid into my closet um but I have a good feeling that I have a lot of ways to style this because this is so unique this is definitely like somebody's grandma's shirt but like it's so cute and it has these green green flowers on it so i thought that was really cool and you'll see more details in the styling portion but it is very thick um it does have shoulder pads i'm trying to decide if i should take the shoulder pads off or not because i kind of do like the shoulder pad look um but overall this is super cute i haven't washed it yet so it still has a tag i got this for 4.99 which is reasonable five bucks is cool i don't like being too hot but then i also don't like being too cold so like a thick material like this is like the perfect middle ground <laughs> To do it, you do The next item that I purchased from Second Avenue Thrift, this another beige, another beige shirt. I'm kind of really into like neutrals and mom jeans and kind of like that 80s oh boy meets world acid wash but like not like blatantly like acid wash not like 2011 acid wash i mean like 1993 acid wash i'm really into that so i just decided to pick up another beige t-shirt i got this from the men's section um and this is oversized definitely it's um it's a size extra large um i guess the size extra large in boys but this was in the men's section it's saint john's antigua royal caribbean international i hope nothing bad happened there but i think this is a cool shirt all the primary colors on beige i'm living for it also i was planning to get like a beige backdrop for my videos especially for styling videos i just feel like a time with everything and look really good with my skin and really nice with my aesthetic <laughs> really really love i got this for the men's section it's one of those loosey goosey big i would say hawaiian shirts it's like the feel of the hawaiian shirt 
or actually a little bit thicker. It's a bowling shirt and it's a size large. It fits like a dress on me, so that's that's really one of the reasons I got it. I really want to pick up a lot of more men's shirts because I just like them. Um, men's shirts from like the 90s, the 80s, they always have super, super, super cool prints. And although this is not definitely, definitely not the spring colors, I feel like it still has a spring vibe. If I wore this as a shirt dress with um, some Birkenstocks or if I wore this with, um, you know, some Adidas, I would just be like, it's just like, it's like a perfect darty outfit. Like, you know, you have your little tiny sunglasses, you have your cap to block the sun, you have your fan, and you have your giant t-shirt dress. And this actually, it covers like my butt and then some so like I could actually wear it as a dress so I just thought it was really cute fun and fresh have it one button open show your show your show show your chains or whatever and just be looking cute now I really love this piece okay I am so, so into, really into to fishnet, knit type, mesh type, anything that looks like, look, you like bondage. Um, just like that really grungy, gothy vibe. I'm really into it. And this is not all the way there, but anything like this, a piece like that, I love styling it with different types of aesthetics, like different types of styles. Like you guys are gonna see in future hauls or future lookbooks how I'm gonna style certain things. I'm really... I'm looking forward to the spring fashion trend that it involves a lot of knitwear, a lot of fishnets, um, and I got some stuff in my cart from Dolls Kill that I want to style specifically, so I just had to pick this up. This is like one of the most unique pieces that I found. It has pockets. It's I, I'm pretty sure this is a dress. So. I don't know when this was made. It's by Glorious Fashion. So maybe it was like a fast fashion brand back then. But whatever they was doing, they was doing it right. And I'm so glad that I was able to pick it up. This was $7.99, but it's completely, completely worth it. Um, and it does touch all the way. Like it goes past my fingertips when my hands are straight down. Um, and yeah, I don't know if I would wear this as a dress because I don't have any slips yet. But definitely I would wear this as like a cardigan or like a, just something to wear over to like show... Um, I have like a peekaboo moment, a bodysuit that's more revealing. I could wear this over it and just be stouncing, just be looking good, you know what I'm saying? The one thing I don't like about it is the large buttons, but that gives it character. That just tells you it's from that time, and so it's a very unique piece. the second to last piece that I have oh actually I'm lying because I bought 10 pieces I'm wearing some next piece that I have is this oversized white hoodie I didn't realize that I needed a white hoodie until I bought one and now I need more like I said I'm really in to whites I've always been been into whites and blacks but I'm getting more so into neutral I have like a lot I'm realizing I have a lot more beige sweatshirts and t-shirts and I want to grow my collection because I just I really I think it's because of style Nanda their whole aesthetic right now is just like really really 80s based and really really muted colors and the like the bifocals the frizzy hair um, the ruffles and the jeans and like the pointy shoes like I'm just living for it I feel like I kind of embody that when I wear like neutrals like tans and beiges for my mom jeans it's like a splash of color it's got the right shoe I'm looking good I'm looking perfect <laughs> this is so fun because I'm talking like beiges like this is gonna turn beige I've always been scared about like white clothes other than like white t-shirts because you can like easily get another white t-shirt um like the one I'm wearing you can easily get another white t-shirt but with white like actual pieces of clothing like hoodies and stuff like you have to be careful and I feel like this is already looking a little dingy and I'm scared but I'm just gonna wash her and bleach you know get my my oxy clean on you guys have seen me if you guys watch my other channel my k-pop commentary channel you will see me wearing this in a lot of videos because i shot a lot of videos in this because it's just it's so it's so easy to grab you know and just put on feel snuggly you know i just pull the drawstrings tie it up and get ready to film but i didn't try this on because you guys know what an oversized hoodie looks like it, it, i mean it passes my butt like just look up a picture of Ariana Grande you'll know what I mean the next two pieces I'm gonna show I definitely I got this white shirt like I mentioned multiple times that was the cheapest item on my shopping expedition but I ended up getting this dress this denim dress it's so 
so so so cute um it has a tie back and it has these buttons the buttons are loosey-goosey they're very very loose that's one of the things that you're gonna have to sacrifice when you get things from the store because you know a lot of these items had a lot of love so the buttons are not going to be intact all the time I was hoping that they don't fall off and if they do i hope that i can find it so i can sew back on one probably not gonna do that i'm too lazy <laughs> I got from the thrift store is my favorite 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 piece and I got really excited because I wanted to um, thrift specifically for spring items or like pre-spring items since I can use to like, transition and this was honestly the perfect piece I'm gonna wear this throughout the entire summer and spring piece and it happens to be black this print specifically is just so unique I haven't seen anything like it before it is a mix of this just a nice blouse um, with this contrast patterning and i have a feeling that this is going to be such a big thing in the springtime spring and summer more so spring because you can easily tie like um floral prints with one of the trends that was from this fall this winter which is cheetah or animal print in general i just feel like this is so unique and wearing it. i just feel like super sophisticated i can have like the one button open my my chain showing you know have my gold jewelry you know and it just like ugh, i don't even like just wearing high-waisted pants and then i got these loafers from urban outfitters i'm just gonna be i'm just gonna be feeling like that bitch like i don't even feel like that bitch you know what i'm saying like oh this is so elegant so like mature this is i love super mature pieces um it just really shows my style because I, I feel like my style is on the more mature side sometimes i want to be playful you know youthful but stuff like this really get me going <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoy this video be sure to comment what your what was your favorite item what was your favorite piece like subscribe turn on your notification bell so I'll stay tuned okay i'll definitely see you guys in my next one peace